That's why I said get a container. He's a runner. He's a runner. He's a runner. Welcome to my channel, and here is a friendly reminder to wear your sunscreen. And speaking of sunscreen, I have applied some liberally because we are going on a dog walk today. We were thinking about sailing, but we did sleep in today. Last night was the 4th of July. Our neighborhood goes hard on the fireworks. There is still like a cloud of smoke just hanging out outside. At one point I thought like an AR-15 was going off. I did not know that they made fireworks sound like that these days. <laughs> But apparently they do. It's fine. It's fun for people. Festivities and all that. Uh, but we did stay up until 2 a.m. and I am a 9 p.m. kind of girl. So we needed some extra hours to sleep in today. So sailing tomorrow. That's fine. We had to go grocery shopping anyways. And I can finally ask you guys if I've been buying yams instead of sweet potatoes this whole time. I do have some food that I need to get eaten today before we go grocery shopping. I have half of a banana that's been sitting here ripening for a few days. It's fine, it's going in a smoothie. I won't be able to tell the mushy part. I have half a yam, and I didn't get to try making my salt and vinegar chips, so I'm gonna have that for breakfast with a smoothie, and then just three fried eggs and some ketchup. Don't knock it till you try it. But also don't try it, because ketchup is sugar, and if you don't like it that way, then why add the extra sugar? Last thing I wanna touch on before we head out, the scale. Now, when I first started vlogging my journey, this would've completely upset me that you know, I'm seeing in the same week, 156 and 160. I already know I'm on my period. Things are gonna be a little iffy and it's not the greatest way to get a weekly average to start off on, but it is a realistic, this is what's happening in real life. So therefore, we gotta take it into account. This is where progress picks are really gonna help me out. Especially because I'm trying to build muscle while lose weight, so Maybe I'll just look toner and the scale won't reflect it at this point while I'm still on a plateau. Let me know if I'm doing anything wrong on this diet. I think so far I've been doing pretty good. I mean, admittedly, the one alcohol a week does not help, <laughs> but also I'm trying to keep it realistic within my lifestyle. Okay, so my eyeliner did not want to stay on my determined eye area, huh? All better for now. I got e.l.f. eyeliner and I hate it just it's gonna go straight in the trash it, it doesn't stay i got like these cheap waterproof ones off of amazon and i loved them i need to find them again because they did not move anyway let's get cooking because i am really looking forward to see if i can enjoy salt and vinegar chips at home without having to worry about 10 chips equaling 400 calories real quick want to mention you guys will notice i have a lot of carbs and not a lot of protein in this breakfast it is okay, I plan on having chicken breast and some broccoli for dinner.
would consider this walk a mini hike. It's definitely not gonna have the distance on it, but I am very surrounded by nature and cool looking nature, not just like tree, 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 but like overgrowth and all that good stuff. Uh, it makes sense because we are at a campground area and Steven and I have actually camped here before. Uh, I did not enjoy it. I used to camp with an RV when I was a kid. I didn't enjoy it then and a raccoon got in the RV once. Um, but when Steven and I went camping, I think it was like a year ago out here, there was a ice cream truck that was like playing its music for like three hours straight. It got very annoying very quickly. And part of the point of camping is to like get out and be surrounded by nature noise and unplug a bit. So this whole time I didn't bring any like music or anything to scroll the internet with. I brought a book and I couldn't focus on the book because ice cream truck noise. And the worst part was is I didn't have a dollar. So I didn't even get a damn ice cream. Speaking of food, that salt and vinegar seasoning uh, is too good. I want to eat like five yams just seasoned the heck out of the, with that stuff. Uh, so got to be mindful on that. It could be dangerous in my cupboard. But also I purposely only buy two yams a week for a reason. So I think, I think I'm safe. But yeah, I could eat the crap out of that. Uh, also, yes, I did burn the yam. My settings are for a full one, not a half one. So a little burnt, but I think that's just a testament to how, how good that seasoning was because I had no problem with the taste at all. all right, let's get back to the hike or walk, whatever you want to perceive it as. <laughs> questioning for the past week. Are these yams? I was questioning it because I was told that yams have a bark coloring. These are white sweet potatoes. So yes, they are sweet potatoes in fact. And the ones that I thought were yams, the box said yams, but it also said sweet potatoes on the corner there. So I don't know on that one. But these are the ones I like and they're subtly sweet, like not overpoweringly sweet. They do have like a earthy, nutty kind of taste to them. And best yet, they are full of nutrients and minerals 
and their calorie count is considerably low. So I checked three sources and we're gonna go with my 400 grams because that's where the basis was, that's what I've got logged. But my net diary is what I use because it is on their free version, you can still scan a barcode and it will pop up all their nutrition information. So under my net diary, a white flesh sweet potato raw, and then it says by Sansbury's. They have a few options. I chose this one because it was the closest to all the other nutrition ones that I was looking up on the internet. So for a white sweet potato raw for 400 grams, we're looking at 288 calories, 71 carbs, two protein and two fat. And there is roughly around nine grams of fiber. For 400 grams of a raw yam, we're looking at 472 calories. That's a difference of 188 calories. There's also 112 grams of carbs, six protein, and one fat with 16 grams of fiber. If I plug in 400 grams of a sweet potato raw into my net diary, I get 344 calories. If I put it in as a white sweet potato raw, it's 288. So there is still a difference. It also changes the carbs and protein. So for the past few months, I've been logging it as a sweet potato raw and I think I have been calculating more calories than I need to. And I have been thinking I've been getting more protein when I may not have been. That is only four grams of protein, but sometimes that matters to get to your goal. <laughs> Hopefully I have this sorted now. And just so you guys know, white potatoes are full of nutrients and minerals, including vitamin C, B6, and vitamin A. They have potassium, manganese, and magnesium, but do include less beta carotene than the orange potatoes. But they do have it, it's just less. Okay, as far as everything else goes, I showed you it, but is there anything I need to mention about the rest of my grocery haul? Um, this is a cosmic red apple. It's a little bit tangy and sweet. I love these in my apple cinnamon oatmeal. I have switched from using relish to bread and butter chips. I just like them better. And if you guys are new, or I haven't reminded you enough recently, this peanut butter contains no xylitol, therefore I can give it to the dogs for a little bit of a treat. And miso soup is great for a probiotic. This packet here is 100 calories with seven grams of protein. It also has calcium and potassium. Actually, I think this has prebiotics and probiotics in it, so good combo. Uh, the only thing is, is make sure you're not boiling the water because it will kill it. It's bacteria, it will be killed. Other than that, Time to put the groceries away. I'm